So can you afford the rent? Yeah. Well, the room's yours. Who's that? New flat, mate. She put out? Not for us. Word. Yo. What are you up to? I'm just wondering how these guys can sell weed online without getting busted by the cops. Oh, well, they're not, they're not saying it's weed. Yeah, well, they call it party smoke, but everyone knows it's weed. Yeah, but legally it doesn't have to be. I mean, they could sell you oregano under the name party smoke, because if they rip you off, you can't complain to the police. Yeah, but if they did that, I'd go around there and kick their ass, bro. Well, that's where there are a few rip-offs. They could, but it's bad for business. Like how an escort has no legal obligation to sleep with you, but if they don't, they wouldn't stay in business very long. So selling weed, but not calling it weed, is legit? It's not legal per se, but it's a loophole. How do you know this stuff? In first year law. Cheers, Kurz. Hey, I'm gonna get some Chinese takeaway. Do you want anything? Yeah, yeah, actually. Give me the cream of some young guy. Every time. Don't want to disappoint. Chinese food? Oh, um, no thanks. So, I double checked about that party smoke. Yeah. If you're investigated selling it, you'll probably still get busted because mm. it's just another street name for pot. So, the people I'm trading me are still taking a pretty big risk. What about if I sell a bag of Doritos online, charge $100 for it, and it comes with a free bag of party smoke? Hmm. I'll get back to you. You do that, boss. Work. See ya. So, giving away weed with another purchase is still illegal because it's an illegal substance. And because it's a promotion, you'd still get prosecuted just the same as if you were selling the weed outright and giving away a free bag of jewelry cash. Well, what if you didn't sell it at all? Like, what if you gave it away with an intermediary piece? Like, you give me money, I give you a map, and that map may or may not lead you to a big bag of party smoke. I'll find out. Thanks, mate. You playing online poker? Yeah, buddy. Why'd you call that hand? Pot odds. If yeah, you know it's fake money, right? So what'd you find out for me, Chief? Okay, so if you sell directions and you're not making any obvious reference to the fact that you're selling marijuana, even if you do get busted, a good lawyer should be able to get you off. Get you off? You didn't tell her why they call you Skittles, did you? No, Slick here is actually trying to figure out a way to make me a lot of money. Well, not escorting again. Selling maps to party smoke. What are you talking about? Well, my friend, I'm about to become the slickest drug dealer outside of China. Okay, so say if you want that little extra something for your party, where do you get it? You could go to a dark alley, you could trust a stranger to sell you something that won't kill you, or from the comfort of your own home, you could order it off a legitimate businessman. Okay, so d just have a look. Okay, all you need to do is click on Home and Living, then on Party and Festive Supplies, then click on Other. Okay, so now we've got one solid green light and there's one flashing. Now there's two solid. Now there's one flat. Hey, what'd you say your name was again? Rachel. 
Yeah, what's your last name? Where'd you on Bebo? <laughs> Boy, bro! Are you there? Yes, yeah, sorry about my brother. Um, yeah, we've tried that about 10 times already, but yeah, hold on, I'll try it again. So, are you enjoying the flat so far? Oh, um, yeah, sure. It's good. Ask her. Are you there? Yep, so there's, so there's one uh, blinking green light. Now there's two. Uh, no, no, there's one again now. Uh, yep, no, oh, well, there's three flashing. Click on other and put them. What? Oh, it's French for voila. All I see is an ad for slightly used 21st invitations. How do you slightly use an invitation? Well, what you'll see, James, is the opportunity to buy a map that will lead you to a party substance that you can smoke. So you're selling treasure maps for drugs? No. If any illicit substances are found, that's purely coincidental. And of court, it would only be cervix central evidence. Circumstantial evidence. And that's not admissible in court. And, and where's the map going to lead? To our place? Of course not. I wouldn't just like get them to come inside. Just to our letterbox. Our letterbox. Where a treasure chest of weed will be waiting for them. Well, they're still going to know our flat number. Your Honour, I don't know who put that weed in our letterbox. As far as I'm concerned, that's just circumcisional evidence. Right, Ace? I'll let you know. Hey, what is her name? I have no idea. Michael Ross. Hey, this is Michelle. Michelle Ross? Yeah. We've got a problem. I told you not to sell pot. I didn't. But I do have some illegal art. What? Not that pie painting you gave to me? No. But how awesome a gift was that? Yeah, bro, it was amazing. Yeah. Hey, I've already got your present for next month too. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Don't you want to be surprised? Not really, no. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's another painting. Yeah. The Digits of Tao. Oh, well done, mate. That's amazing. You're the, you're the idiot savant of gift giving. What can I say? It's a gift. What, what can I say, bro? That's, that's real name. Oh, no, nah, Bex, our butchery work, it's, it's actually really interesting. Sure. Make me. Wait, 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 wait. You said you had a legal art? Yeah, I do. That painting by the door, if the cops see that, I'm fucked. You're under arrest with the intent of selling marijuana. I've had an anonymous tip from a law professor at the University of Auckland saying that a Michelle Ross has been asking numerous questions about how to circumvent the law regarding the selling of illegal substances. No, 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 I was doing that for scared. You have the right to remain oh, silent. Guys! Michelle. <laughs>